Hello and welcome to Plumbing Solutions Educational Series. In this episode we're going to do a little quick one here. This is about our transfer pump, our water tank and our transfer pump. What we use this for is when we don't have water available on a job site and we have to bring it from a, a different location to put test on our slab or say our rough end drain line or our water lines on a rough end. Anytime we need water on a job site where they haven't supplied it. Now, I put this together, basically I bought a tank and I bought a pump and then some various fittings along the way to put it together here. Now, uh, this is just a basic little gasoline motor, little horizontal shaft motor. It's very similar to what would be on a lawnmower. Uh, so it basically runs the same exact way. Uh, it's got a water pump attached to the front of it that the shaft spins, it spins the pump, pumps the water. Now, this is not for sewage. This pump is not for mud. Um, pretty much clean, potable water is what you're going to be running through here. This is a transfer pump for water only. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now, when you get going, uh, this motor, the pump, is probably going to be in the equipment room, and these two are not going to be connected together. So I did all this to where you could unscrew this, flip it around so it's out of the way, and then you can put this back where it goes, and then the tanks generally stay out here somewhere. Uh, there is a cap here on top. This is for priming the pump. Most of the time, once you've already primed the pump one time, you're not gonna take this cap off. You're gonna leave it on there. The other thing is, when you fill this tank up and you open this ball valve, I can feel it running through the pipe. It's going to prime your pump for you because of the amount of water in your tank. Um, back to our little motor here. Before you get started, every time you're going to have to check the oil. There's two little filler caps on either side. Um, it does have a little dipstick here. And pretty much as long as there's oil on it up to those little lines, you're good. Uh, but back in the day, they didn't give you these little dipsticks. You had to look down in there and see the oil. And if you can see the oil touching the threads, you're good. Put that back together. How these pumps get messed up is people burn them up. They don't put oil in it and it, it just locks up. And this is uh, about a $300 pump. So <clears throat> the next thing here. You're going to have an on-off switch here. You're going to want to turn that on. Now, the other controls for this are on this side, so I'm going to move over here and show you how to crank it. All right, on this side is how you're going to crank it. Uh, remember, you got that on-off knob over here on this side, so make sure that's in the on position. With all these little motors, you're going to want to flip the choke on. That's right here. That red one is your throttle, but on there, choke on, keep it at idle. Oh, cool. oh. Did you hear it about to die? 